end of the line, short stuff. Yes! What? Not fair. Either we all get anti-gravity sneakers, or nobody does. Sorry, Doc Green only made one prototype pair, and it's my size. Mail's here. What's the Gremsky Technical Institute? Only the best engineering school in the world. You applied, Graham? I filled out the form so long ago, I almost forgot. They only accept five PhD students a year, so I doubt... I got in. Uh, they accepted me. Well, check out the big brain of my little brother. I'm proud of you, That's son. That's amazing. Way to go, Graham. Congratulations, Graham. I can't wait to see your new school. I wish you could, Boulder, but... Gremsky Tech's on the mainland. I'd have to move there. And leave the team? But you're Boulder's partner. I must strongly oppose this course of action. This is Graham's choice, and it's a wonderful opportunity. Let's give him some time and space to decide. Cody, and thanks for volunteering to help with our squish impact tests. We definitely need more data. <laughs> I'm gonna squish ya! <laughs> Not if I squish ya first. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Squilch, anyway. It's a polymorphic compound synthesized from a sample brought back by the Mars Explorer. So it's space goo? No, Bull, what can it do? We have absolutely no idea. That's why we're testing it, to find out what Squilch is good for. Of course, that might take years of experimentation. Or less. The battery powered up the Squilch! It's alive! Technically, no. Squilch doesn't have a mind. <clears throat> Though it certainly has a strong grip! Is it supposed to do that? Yes. No! I have no idea. Squilch is a completely new substance. <gasps> Self-propulsion? Must be a side effect of the electric charge. We'll get it, Daddy. Whoa, Squelch is slippery stuff. <laughs> Bet it can't slip out of that. I'm not so certain, Frankie. The squilch appears to be absorbing the water, like a sponge. What? Seems 
to be able to absorb anything not nailed down. If that squilch isn't stopped, I'm afraid it might swallow more than yesterday's trash. <laughs> Kate, a hungry slime ball just broke out of Doc Green's lab and is headed downtown. <laughs> Look, Cody, I like prank calls as much as the next guy, but this is the emergency line. If Dad hears it, you... Kate, check the security cameras. <sighs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. So basically there's a giant booger rolling through Griffin Rock? A dangerous giant booger. <sighs> Beats desk duty. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Earth schools have vacation periods, right? So you can come back to visit? What? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, if I even go to Grimsky Tech. You haven't decided? I don't want to leave the team. But honestly, Boulder, maybe it's better if I do. I'm an engineer. Better at long-form equations than split-second decisions. I'm not trained for rescues like Kate and Danny. I'm an engineer, too. And I've never doubted that the rescue bots need me. Yeah, but I can't punch through walls or turn into a vehicle. And I can't fit through most doors. Guess that's why we make a good team. The target's headed through the park. Ingesting private property. If that isn't a crime, it should be. The more mass the squilch absorbs, the larger it grows. Well, let's put that thing on a diet before it's too massive to stop. I'll stop it right now. Pete, wait, no. You're only adding to the squilch's volume. Hold off on pursuit, team. We need more info about this thing. Doc, we're closing in on the Squilch. Any suggestions? Unfortunately, not yet. Oh, one thing. Do not let the Squilch touch water. Yeah, thanks, Doc. <gasps> that glob of ick is gonna swallow Mr. Pettipaws. Blades, no! Dad said that we... You monster! Ah! Ah! Why didn't anybody tell me it could do that? Doc says there are air pockets in the Squilch. So if we can get the cat out, he should be okay. Dad, those kids, they're, they're right in the Squilch's path. I got this. Giant slime ball headed this way. Run! <laughs> Go on now, sweetie. Huh? <sighs> Not good. Team, let's squash that squilch. No, this one's mine. Chase, come in, Chase. Do you read me? Affirmative, Chief. I am attempting... Cannot do... Chase, Chase, I'm losing you. The gelatinous composition of the squilch is weakening the comlink signal. We must be out of range. Then let's get in range.
That's one hairball. Now cough up Chase! We'll get him back, Heat Wave. Doc! The school shape. My dad's vehicle. I'm sorry to hear that, Chief. And I'm afraid I don't have any good news for you yet. Unfortunately, the Squilch seems wholly unaffected by anything I subject it to. Heat, cold, X-rays, UV light... <laughs> ...and apparently, peanut butter. Don't worry, Chief. Dad'll find a solution. We're still tracking the Squilch, Dad. It's rolling out of town. Well, at least that means there's less for it to eat. Stay on it, Danny. This overgrown loogie seems unstoppable. Maybe not. When Heat Wave tased the Squilch with the power pole, it spit out Mr. Pettipaws and fled. So that may mean... Electricity affects the Squilch. With a strong enough power source... We can trap it and zap it. Just make it release Chase. Graham, you and Boulder get ahead of that glob and set up whatever you need to stop it. Cade and I'll finish here and then catch up. And be careful. I'm not losing any more of my family today. Where are you at, Graham? The Squilch is heading onto Old Canyon Road. Thanks, Danny. We just picked up a load of batteries from the lab. We think the Squilch will get a real charge out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love those engineering jokes. Okay, trap set. How's the electrical charge coming? Electrodes are wired, batteries piggybacked. We're set. Except... the squills should be here by now. Did you factor in the growth rate? Increased volume affects speed. Of course. The squills will arrive here in... in 24 seconds. How'd you get so smart? Standard training on Cybertron. See? That's why I should go to Gremsky Tech. There's so much I still have to learn. Research is useful, but experience is just as important. If I'd only read about humans, instead of living with you and your family, there'd be a lot more I wouldn't understand. Like fondue. I see your point, but... 24 seconds. On the button. Chase, can you hear us? It is growing rather crowded. The squirrels are becoming restless. Well, how to range again? What happened? I don't know. The battery charge didn't stop the squilch. It only made it stronger. Wait, that didn't happen when I hit the goo with an electrical pole. You sure you zapped it right? Yes. Unless... We used a different kind of zap. Alternating current. Versus direct current. You lost me at unless. Cody, is Doc there? I, I want to run something by him. Doc, I think I might have the answer. The squilch got shot when we hit it with the wires from a power pole. That's alternating current. Like the kind in a wall socket? Right. But when we use the charge from a battery... Direct current. Like the kind in my comm tab. The squilch appeared to get stronger. Does that make sense? Why, yes. I had the same results, but never even noticed. No wonder Grimsky Tech wants you. The battery is what animated the squilch in the first place, but the table lamp repelled it. So we need a really big table lamp? Guys, you better get over here. The squilch is rolling toward the Griffin Rock community pool. Tell everyone at the pool to evacuate immediately. Um, what people? It looks like everyone left, Dad. I, I don't see Big Slimy either. Circle till you spot the squilch. We'll check out the pool. <laughs> Deserted. <laughs> 
I could see why. The pool cleaner's been slacking off. Even if all the swimmers ran away, where did their chairs go? And towels and swim toys. Looks like everything got tossed into the pool. Hmm. Kate, no! Don't! Graham, I think I can handle a little algae. It's not... Uh, I mean, it... You better... Uh -huh. No offense, bro, but maybe you should go back to school. Chase, do you copy? How did the squilch get so big? From the elbow poking my midsection, I assume the globule has absorbed several swimmers, their equipment, and thousands of gallons of fluorinated water. It looks like it's still going. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I didn't know you could do that. Fear is a great motivator. Volts agitated our original squilch ball, which means X equals M times C over... Uh, Cody, call your family. We need to know the M and the C. Um, okay, but what... M is the mass and C the circumference, right, Daddy? Correct, my little Archimedes. Once we have the approximate size of the squilch, we'll know how much current we need to stop it. Cody, a little busy? Cade, Doc needs to know how big the squilch is right now. Oh, yeah, sure, let me get my ruler. Oh, wait, the squilch ate it. Tell Doc he'll just have to... Graham! Graham, you go first. Wait, let me talk to Doc. Dad, I should be going... Cade, no arguments. Just go. The squilch is growing bigger by the second, Doc, but we... I mean, I have a formula that should give us C and estimate M. If we solve for X, we'll know how much voltage we need. We'll give it a try, Doc. Thanks. Graham, you're next. No, Boulder and I are staying. We can stop the squills with the jolt from the pool's electrical box. It's connected to the power grid. Like one big wall socket. Graham, I can't let you... It's engineering stuff, Dad. That's why I'm on the team, remember? Be careful. That goes for you too, big guy. Always. The power has to be off before we can disconnect the main cable. The switch is on the junction box. I'll let you know when to turn it back on. You'll need protective gear. Seems there is gelatin residue I will have to remove in private. <laughs> Thanks for saving my dad back there. Thank you for saving the team. Graham, you're okay. Uh, kind of grossed out, but fine. The squilch acted as an insulator against the high voltage shock, just like we thought it would. Bet you won't miss this stuff when you're at Grimsky Tech, huh? brought that stuff in here. Don't worry, it's harmless now. And look, it's a Martian nightlight. I'm not sure I could sleep with Squilch in the room, vacuum sealed or not. Here, Grim, Doc wanted to give you something to use at school. About that, I've decided I'm not going. Noble! That's great. Really? Are you sure, son? 
Gremsky Tech is an excellent opportunity. I agree, but I have another opportunity right here. Where else can I learn science from actual aliens? <laughs> Bet that college doesn't have any teachers like us. I can still take classes from Grimsky over the VidCom. Besides, being part of a rescue team is the best hands-on experience any engineer could ask for. Even if you do have to get squilched once in a while. Shelf. <gasps> what do we have here? High density steel composite bearings of some sort. What? Intriguing. Daddy? Daddy, where are you? <laughs> Patrol with four bots and stasis. You stayed on a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Two others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. Sharma? Huh? A swarm of large insects? Just stay in your house until someone gets there, okay? Ah! Uh, Mr. Sharma? Are you there? Cody, Heatwave and I might be out here a while. Found another unattended fire. It's like the campers just... disappeared. Guys, something strange is happening on the water, too. Ghost ships. Weird. <laughs> Folks seem to be here one minute and then gone the next. What on earth? Chief? Dad? Dad? <laughs> hey! 
Have you heard from Dad? Where did you last Where have you looked? What was he doing? Did he guys, say anything? Guys, let Chase talk. I was occupied with a driverless vehicle. By the time I was able to return my attention to the chief, he was gone. Probably that shrink ray again. Everybody check under their feet! It's not the shrink ray. There's only one, and it's in the archives. And people are vanishing all over town. The park was completely empty, too. <laughs> ah, don't let it land on me! <gasps> What kind of insects are these? Apparently the kind that don't affect bots. Quick, vehicle mode. Everybody inside. Chase, let's get that thing back to the station so I can take a closer look. Affirmative. You have broken the law and must now submit to the fair but firm hand of justice. Frankie, are you all right? Cody, my dad's missing, and a bunch of flying probes are chasing me. That's what these things are? Probes? I think so. They're restored here in the archives. We'll be right there. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Open up! Open After me. They're after everyone. They make people disappear. Even my dad. Hang on. I'm gonna try to thin out this swarm. Mm. What was that? Engine noise. Funky rotor. The Exterminator. Whoa, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, uh, Kate? <sighs> what? Hmm. I read about something like this. Something like what? Quantum crystals and teleportation. <laughs> Boring. Frankie says the probes came from the archives. They were in a canister that wasn't on the inventory list, so I don't have any details. Okay, this says back in the 1950s, Griffin Rock scientists were attempting to use crystals to open large subspace wormholes. Subspace what? Wormholes. Don't you read science fiction? If it's about giant worms, I might start. Wormholes are like tunnels. Uh, objects are broken down into elementary particles, teleported, and then reconstructed. Ow, ow, ow. Easy, Einstein. He means these probes are transporting people somewhere else. Okay, but how? And where? Unfortunately, there's no way to tell from examining the probe itself. So this is what I suggest. Oh, no. Graham? I'll build a high-powered beacon for each of us and... Uh, uh, oh, darn. Uh, oh, hello? Is anybody out there? Graham? <gasps> Graham, are you all right? I, th I think so. But where are we? We're still trying to figure that out. Half the town is here. Have you seen your brothers and your sister? Yeah, they're at home. I, I was examining a probe and... The probes? I suspected they might be responsible. What have you learned about them, Graham? Only that they appear to contain crystals that emit some sort of... Teleportation waves, of course! Activated by physical contact. They land on us, bring us here, but why? Frankie, do you know if she... She's safe at the firehouse. Thank you. Chief, there's something I want you to see. 
A power box. I wasn't sure whether or not I should... Which was why I thought I'd ask you. What? Oh, what? What's going on? Mind-boggling. An entire camp built underground. Half-built, anyway. But why would the probes bring us here? And where is here? We know we're in a cavern. But which cavern? We might not even be in Griffin Rock anymore. Dad? Danny, over here. Are you all right? How did a probe get you? A swarm just found its way into the firehouse. I think we got them all. But look outside! Rescue bots, the upstairs is secure. Keep the probes out of the garage. Smashing them seems to work pretty well. However satisfying hand-to-hand -hand combat may be, a more efficient method would enable us to destroy multiple assailants at once. Oh, no, you don't. Whoa, you planning on making a pet out of that one? We are at war. And the Cybertronian Combat Guide says, we should understand our enemy. Hello? Be good to know what makes them tick. Huh. Doesn't like that sound too much, does it? I have an idea. Ugh. Wish Graham was still here. He'd know how to get rid of these things. First, we need to find out where they're sending everyone. Yeah. But who's left to ask? Professor Baranova! Oh, thank goodness. At least you're all safe. I was starting to think the Tracers had tagged everyone but me. Tracers? Is that what they're called? Remarkable little machines, aren't they? Several snuck in here, but... I can't bring myself to destroy them. What? Seriously? Those things are dangerous. Actually, they're trying to save me. From what? Well, the Tracers were part of a project called the Sanctuary Plan. In case of an approaching cataclysmic event, the Tracers were programmed to seek out every last human on the island and teleport them to an underground shelter for safety. They won't stop until their mission is accomplished. But there isn't a cataclysmic event approaching. The Tracers don't know that. Once they're released, they just do what they were built to do 50-some years ago. Tell us where this underground hideout is so we can get everybody out? <sighs> I'm afraid it's not that simple. The project was shut down when the shelter became unstable. Its location was never revealed. Then we need to start looking for it. Agreed. If one of you can pick me up, I can... <sighs> I'm afraid it's up to you three now. <gasps> no! It sounds like everyone's safe. We just have to find them. Underground shelter. That's a big help. There are miles of tunnels under this island. Well, now that we know what's called the Sanctuary Plan, maybe we can find a reference in the main database. We need to get to the lab to access the central computer. That confirms it. The probes are affected by sonic waves. Or you're just really ticking that one off? Rescue robots? Is the garage secure? Kate and Frankie and I are coming down. All secure. Hmm. 
Whew. All right. Back to annoying the metal bug. We need to find a frequency that won't just disorient these things, but completely disable them. Failing that, I suggest we return to widespread smashing. Let me try amping up my sonar first and see what happens. Any luck? We have everyone searching the camp, but... I fear the sanctuary plan was shut down before provisions could be stored. So no food or water, and just these pipes to dig with. Hardly enough to get through a stone slab that size. If these tremors occur regularly, it's no wonder the project was abandoned. Danny, check for injuries. Got it. Graham, anything you can do about the lights? The batteries are old. They're failing. Then we have to do whatever it takes to get through that slab. Log us into the database. Probes, hurry! Sanctuary, plan. Look, it might be a blueprint for the shelter. Watch out! Ricky! The cavern chosen for the shelter is the largest under Griffin Rock. What? That's all you have? Heat wave! I'm coming out! Cody! Heat wave! You have to find the biggest cavern under Griffin Rock! That's where everybody is! You bots are our only! No! <laughs> the right frequency shuts them down entirely on our way here we had them dropping like deactivated probes we are quite pleased with ourselves cody and frankie cade i'm sorry dad i tried i know you did son Much time left or oxygen i'm afraid all right everyone put your backs into it don't worry dad the bots will find us i hope so the largest cavern under griffin rock that could be anywhere then we'll search every tunnel one by one Perhaps if we examine Cody's message more literally. That peak, what name have the citizens given it? That would be Griffin Rock. They're under the mountain? There's a cave entrance near the base. I've seen it from the air. Follow me. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. <laughs> Oh. 
Uh, Cody, I've never really admitted this to anyone, but I'm kind of, you know, afraid of the dark. We'll get out of here, Frankie. How thick is this slab? I'll recruit a relief team. Everyone stay calm. We have some flashlights. Hey! Hey! That sounds coming from the slab! Stand back! Citizens of Griffin Rock, the probes have been vanquished. Did the robots know where to search for us? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> funny thing, I must have left the GPS on or something. They are programmed for search and rescue, after all. It's what they do. Truly amazing machines, aren't they? That they are. Oh, and what I said about being afraid of the dark? Mention that to anyone? and you're toast. Don't worry about me. I'm good at keeping secrets. It's a mess out here, honey. I can't see any... Uh, oh, hold on. Come home to me. Ah! Ocean, lots of ocean. Wait! Nope, more ocean. Blades, give me light at 9 o'clock, please. <laughs> Still no sign of the crashed truck, Dad. Given the armored vehicle's density, it probably sunk in a matter of seconds. We'll send a dive team out in the morning. Meantime, maybe Jerry can tell us what happened. Chief, I, I saw it right there, in the middle of the road, a ghost! Have you had your eyes checked lately, Jer? How many fingers am I holding up? No, no, she was real, the Lady of Griffin Rock. Who's the Lady of Griffin Rock? A silly legend. There's no such thing as... <laughs> Looks like someone's afraid of ghosts and goblins. Why do you think Kate still sleeps with a nightlight? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Cody, what's a ghost? Kate seemed quite adamant that ghosts do not exist. He's wrong, as usual. You know what? I really don't care either way. But can you settle this so they quit arguing about it? Well, ghosts are supposed to be the spirits of humans who lived back in the past, but return in the present. Some people believe in them, some people don't. Have you ever seen one? Up close? Well, no. I'd kind of like to, though. I think. Has their existence been proven in a court of law? I don't think so. Then I remain wholly dubious. I wish we could meet a ghost. No, you do not. Believe me, I've seen all 14 Haunted Halls movies and the DVD extras. Ah! Hey, Frankie, what's up? Cody, I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. 
A ghostly figure. A missing armored car. It's the perfect opportunity to test Dad's spectral vapor filter. It's designed to catch ghosts. Only we've never had an actual ghost to try it out on. What makes you so sure the Lady of Griffin Rock is even real? Meet me at the Hall of Inspiration. I'll show you. Cody, this is Charlotte Wayne, the Lady of Griffin Rock. 200 years ago, Charlotte Wayne's husband and sons sailed to the mainland in a storm. They never came back. Legend says the Lady of Griffin Rock still walks our island, looking for her lost family. Whoa! I'll have Dad show this picture to the driver and ask him if this is the ghost he saw. Here, take one of Dad's spectral vapor filters. I'm keeping one just in case I find Charlotte before you all do. You see? The prisoners have been pacing back and forth like that all morning. Dad! So what's the problem, Barney? They haven't eaten their breakfast or lunch yet. Should I serve them dinner? We can't force them to eat. Just hold off on dinner for a while. What about dessert? Goodbye, Barney. Dad, the Lady of Griffin Rock was a real person. I, I know, Cody, but that doesn't mean she's returned to Jaywalk on Ocean Drive. But... Griffin Rock emergency. It... Whoa, whoa, slow down, Russell. A ghost in the bank scaring your customers. Uh, we'll be right over. Dad, you can use this. Doc Green made it to capture ghosts. I don't think we'll be needing that, son. But I'll bring it just in case. What do you say to a ghost? Do we have to pretend to be robots? Don't really think it'll matter, Boulder. Seriously, Dad. We're responding to paranormal calls now. What's next? Bigfoot sightings? Whoa! <laughs> ah! Oh, what was that? Something activated the security system. Maybe the ghost did it. I told you there's no such thing. Then what's that? <gasps> <sighs> Follow me, men. Men? Was I just insulted? It appears you are mistaken, Cade. There is such thing. Cade, Heatwave, guard the exit. Everyone else, after that phantom. Heatwave? Boom! Ah! Don't you ever do that again! Follow me! Me, I, Chief? I want to ask him how he does that. Better check it out. Go ahead and open it, Boulder. The alarm won't sound unless something leaves the vault. What now, Dad? There's not really any police protocol for this situation. Attack! If you so desire. Are you all right? I now share Blade's opinion. I, too, do not care for ghosts. Follow me! Split up, team. No, don't split up. In scary movies, you never split up. And you never leave anyone alone. Wait for me! Hey. What is this thing made of? Follow me, men! That 
away. Dad! The bank vault's alarm just went off, and all the cameras are down. Everyone, back inside. There is nothing grand about grand larceny. How did that ghost empty out the vault? We are right behind him. It didn't. Ghosts can't steal. Why would they? It's not like they need money. Do they even have pockets? Can we stop talking about you know what? Uh, guys, there are a lot of weird calls coming in. Ugh, tell me it's not another ghost. Okay, it's not another ghost. It's a whole lot of other ghosts. This should feed the island all winter. Finally, an emergency we can do something about. against the laws of physical science and polite society. How do we stop a ghost, Dad? I'm not even sure what state of matter it is. Use Doc Green's spectral vapor filter. Well, it's not like we have any better ideas. Chase? Well, I'll be. It worked. For a little while. Sorry, Cody. Looks like Doc's invention's a bust. What's the status of the fire at the restaurant, Cade? It's out, but somebody robbed the cash register. Another ghost scared everyone off. Easy pickings for an amateur thief. Graham, you two stand watch here. Don't let anyone from the past or the present in that store until I can figure out what's going on. Uh, Griffin Rock Emergency? Yes, I do believe you, Mr. Harrison. Dad, more sightings coming in from downtown. This is Huxley Prescott at the scene of a spectral spectacular. Scram, see? Oh. Excuse me, sir. If you would... Or you'll be pushing up daisies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your walk, citizen. Boogeyman near the clock tower. We're moving in. <laughs> How did you... There's a ghost inside me? Get it out! Get it out! Blaze, stop! <laughs> pull up! Blaze, pull up, pull up! <sighs> it's gone. Next movie night, I'm watching a musical. 
This just in. Ghost, trees, cat. Do you have a comment for our viewers? Eureka! You heard it here first, folks. I know her. Dad! By Tesla's test tubes, so do I. Can we pick up Cody? I have a hypothesis I want to test. Honored to be your lab assistant. Just as I thought. See, Cody? Elma Hendrickson, Griffin Rock's first female scientist. That's where my middle name comes from, Elma. Great, Frankie, but can we go now? My family's up to their neck in ghosts. So are we. Look! We saw them all on TV. The people in these pictures have recently manifested as phantasmal beings. You're right. But I still don't know why they'd come back now just to scare everyone. These were some of our island's most upstanding citizens, uh, when they were still upstanding. The ghosts haven't really done anything bad. They just show up and say strange things. Hmm. Is there any pattern to where they appear? Look, I have a map of all the emergency calls that came in today. The ghosts are only popping up downtown! Ghost is toast. Hello, and welcome to the Hall of Inspiration. Whew. I never thought I'd be so happy to see a hologram. Me too. I was afraid my filter was a failure. I designed it to capture specters, but apparently it also temporarily interferes with holograms. The same thing happened at the jewelry store. Maybe that ghost was a hologram, too. Maybe all the ghosts are. Get out while you can. <laughs> Everyone, just stay calm. Get out while you can! The red dots are spectral sightings. The yellow dots pinpoint the location of downtown's hologram projectors. When we overlay both maps... They match perfectly! So the ghosts are showing up anywhere there's a projector. Including intersections, buildings, and the clock tower. But where'd the holograms come from? Somebody had to make them. <laughs> You're as bright as a supernova. These images were created for the Griffin Rock Tricentennial. They've been sitting in the hologram database ever since. Daddy, who are they? I don't know. There appear to be rogue holograms in the system. Ghosts can't steal, but those two do it for a living. Dad, I think you'd better head over to the jail. Not ghosts, holograms. Miles must have hacked into the database from your computer. He said he was checking his email. They built holograms of themselves so it appeared they were both still in their cell. So, can I have their dinner? Shut down the database, Doc. We don't want these ghosts causing any more trouble. 
My team spread thin enough as it is. Wait, Dad! Maybe it takes a hologram to capture a hologram. Graham, you two clear out. B what about guarding the jewelry store? Don't worry, Cody has a plan. Finally. I thought that guy in his tin can would never leave. <laughs> I don't understand. Now we want the jewelry store to be robbed? It is known as bait. Now we can be certain the scoff laws are exactly where we want them. Cody, has Doc updated the database? It's ready, Dad. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Uh, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Using holograms to scare off the law? <laughs> we should have thought of this years ago, bro. They're so busy chasing ghosts, they just ignore us. Yeah. <laughs> Miscreants and or thieves, we have you surrounded. <laughs> Chill, bro. We just call in reinforcements. <laughs> Cops won't know who to grab. Hey! <laughs> See, bro? Works so good it even fooled me. <laughs> Run! Where's that, your hologram projector? Nice try, but Cade don't scare easy. Let the show begin. Mm. This should feed the island all winter. Follow me, men, to arms! Scram, see? Yeah. Get out while you can. The future's in railroads. Eureka! Wow, good good. Show, Frankie. Very good. <laughs> nice to see the holograms used as they were originally intended. Well, oh, wait a minute. Where's the Lady of Griffin Rock? She's not in the database. No one ever created a hologram for her. But that means that she was, and that I was. <gasps> Come on, Mr. Pettipaws. All places to be stuck. Where are your robots? Why aren't they helping me? The bots are finishing up an important job, Mrs. Niederlander. Um, not that this isn't important. That's the last sandbag. We should see if Dad needs any help. Beat you to the town square, Heat Wave. Strap in. Hands off. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on. <sighs>
for nothing. <sighs> Your rescue vehicles are not intended for street racing. And just so you remember that, there's going to be extra community service for all those involved. I take all the blame. Well, most of it. We were all boneheads. Sorry, Dad. Didn't mean to upset you. <sighs> Especially today. <clears throat> um, not that today is special or anything. <laughs> you almost blew it. Dad has to think we totally forgot his birthday. Otherwise, the dinner won't be a surprise. Chase and I are going to the river to check the docks, make sure there's no structural damage from the rain. I'll see everybody back home tonight? <laughs> Probably. Nothing else to do. See you there. Not me, Dad. Big date with Haley. Not gonna be home till late. Cade. What? That was acting. Birthday? Is that the human celebration with the lit up tree? Birthdays are when you set the dessert on fire and reassemble a donkey. The lit up tree is Arbor Day. Ah. Oh. To the river, Chief. Not exactly. Thank you, Mr. Pfeiffer. It may not be my place to inquire, Chief, but I am quite confused. I just stopped to pick up a cake, that's all. My favorite, coconut chocolate. You see, today's my birthday, Chase. Nobody in the family seems to have remembered, but that's okay. They have a lot on their minds. The cake will be a nice treat for everybody tonight. But you told your family we were headed to the docks. If they knew I was going to the bakery, they would have felt bad for forgetting my birthday. I didn't want to do that to them. So you told a lie? Not a lie exactly, just not the whole truth. Sometimes, if you have a good reason and it doesn't do any harm, it's okay. It's called a white lie. Forgive me, Chief, but I cannot condone such a thing. Either lying is acceptable or it is not, no matter what the color is. Well, it's not really... I mean, the point is... Oh, thank goodness. Hello? Hey, Dad, you gonna be home soon? Not that you need to hurry or anything, just, uh, checking in. Uh, just heading back from the river now, son. Another white lie? No, same one. This subject continues to elude my understanding. Okay, guess we'll see you soon. Hello? Dad? Cody, you there? Well, that always happens driving past that lead mine. Hmm, that's weird. You hear that, Chase? Pull over. The sound appears to be coming from that structure. That's the old mine office. Let's take a look. Well, nothing serious. Let's head home. <sighs> Too steep to climb, I'm afraid. Boulder, heat wave, blades, come in. Rescue squad, come in. Don't even bother. It's the lead in the cave walls. Blocks all communication signals. There's another entrance to the mine in a hillside up the way. This direction. Now Dad's phone is off. I just tried his comm link, too. He's not answering. Chase isn't answering either. He probably talked your dad into stopping to arrest a jaywalker. No, he always follows protocol, checks in on the hour. I'm worried. Of course, I always worry. You were the last one to talk to Dad. What exactly did he say? He said they were headed home from the river. Then that's where we'll start looking. No 
no sign of anyone. Can we check the footage from those security cameras? It's all recorded onto a hard drive. Uh, I can do a wireless tap. Hasn't been anybody here in the last two hours. So, why did Chief tell you that he and Chase were down here? Cody, we'll drop you back at the command center. Get on the monitors, look for anything that might give us a clue. The rest of us, split up and cover the island. The team must be looking for us by now. Yes, but our chances of being located underground are, speaking optimistically, quite slim. Especially since the others were deliberately misled regarding our location. Chase, it is no different from you pretending to be a robot in front of the townsfolk. So that means I am a white liar? I should feel guilty, but I do not. Exactly. That's a good white lie. The one I told got us stuck in a cave. I'm sorry, Chase. Next time I'll tell the whole truth. Now, let's keep moving. Mining car. Had to be powered somehow. See if you can find a light switch. Ah. Maybe we can get this to work. Whoa! Chief Burns! I do not believe that was the light switch. <laughs> Thanks just the same, partner. Let's get off this track. I'm not even sure we're headed in the right direction anymore. <sighs> Must be getting late. My front seat may not be as comfortable as a bed, but it is softer than a cavern floor. Thanks. I just need a quick cat nap. <sighs> <sighs> Missed dinner, too. Hey, the cake! It's a little smashed, but... Still tasty. I just wish I could enjoy it with my family. I'm glad you're here, though, Chase. And may I be the first to wish you a happy birthday, sir. Whatever that entails. Do you hear that, Chief? Sounds like water. Chief? We just came back to get some breakfast, then we're heading out again. You humans need sleep. We don't. We'll keep searching. No way I'm sitting this out. We'll go over every square inch of the island again. So no sign of Dad at all? Don't worry, Cody. We'll find him. Wherever they are, I'm sure Dad and Chase can take care of each other. Somebody in town must have seen them. Chase is kind of hard to miss. We'll knock on every door, ask everyone on the island. I bet that's them! Hey, Cody. Is your dad around? No, Mr. Pfeiffer. In fact... Well, tell him he left his wallet here yesterday, would you? Dad, was at your bakery yesterday? To pick up a cake. How was it, by the way? Everybody enjoy it? Mr. Pfeiffer, what time did our dad come by? Oh, around 5 o'clock. Well, tell your dad he could pick this up any time. Unless the missus gets a hold of it first. <laughs> you have a good day now. 5 o'clock. That was right before I talked to him. But Dad said he was coming back from the river. The bakery's nowhere near the river. And why would Dad stop to buy it? His birthday. I he bought himself a cake. Because he thought we forgot. But you wanted him to think that, didn't you? 
Yes, but... This is all our fault. Guys, there's no time for blame. We need a map of Griffin Rock. Boulder, I'll link you in. Here's the bakery, and here's our house. Here's the route Dad and Chase would have taken. So they were somewhere along here when you talked to him, Cody. And that's when the call dropped. The lead mine. It's right along that road. Cell phones always go dead in that area. But once they drove past the mine, their signals should have come back. So how come we still can't reach them? Maybe they didn't drive past the mine. Maybe they're still there. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! <laughs> Chief Burns. Hmm. No. Oh. Sorry to awaken you, but my wheels have become quite soggy. Must be runoff from those rains we've had. If we keep heading uphill toward the source of this stream, we should find the exit. May I suggest you remain inside, Chief? Chief! Chase! You down there? <gasps> Better get out. It's not safe in here. But we can't just give up. Nobody's been here in ages, Cody. We'll keep searching outside. Let's see what's on the other side of that opening. Up there. It's the mine entrance we've been looking for. I will help you reach the other side, then try to widen the opening and follow you through. You should be able to reach that doorway once you get in here. Stand back. It seems to be working. Just a few more blows. Chief, can you hear me? Great eye, Cody. But they could be anywhere down in those tunnels by now. I'll use my sonar. There's movement in one of the caverns. It might be anything. Bats, running water. Or it could be Dad and Chase. They're probably looking for another way out. Wait, bats? The kind that suck blood? Don't worry, Blades. These would just be plain old bats. Oh, <laughs> plain old bats. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Kate, it might be best if the three of you stayed above ground to look for another way down into the tunnels. Good idea. We'll meet back up here. Dad? Chase? 
be no blood sucking on my watch. So the movement we've been tracking this whole time was the bats? No, I'm still picking up something ahead. This is a waste of time. We should be down below helping the others. This should go right into one of the caverns. We need a tool. How about this? <gasps> Dad, we're here! Chase! He's trapped in the next cavern. The rest of the team will find him. We're taking care of you, your host. Chase! Thank the Allspark. Chief is trapped in a cavern which is most likely filling with water, and my attempts at breaking through by myself are proving fruitless. You're not by yourself anymore. Better get inside. Boulder can get a little messy. Careful. Sorry. I'm just glad to see you. Me too, son. Me too. Thanks for a great birthday dinner, everyone. Better late than never. Did you really think we'd forget your birthday, Dad? Yeah. What kind of family do you think we are? The best ever. And that includes all of you. How does everybody like my cake? Great. Yum. Good job. Mm, mm hmm Very tasty. This, I have learned, is what humans call a white lie. Experience tells me it may not end well. It's good, right? <laughs> it really hard, it? Can you Even better than there? last year. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> that movie was hilarious. The part with the horse. Oh, 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 and the feathers. I laughed at all those strange noises. <laughs> what did you think, Heatwave? <laughs> the cream pie in the face was pretty good. That pie was a premeditated assault. How can you all be so amused? The entire film is a collection of insults, law-breaking, and disruptive antics. That's what makes it funny. I do not understand. And speaking frankly, I have no desire to. Optimus ordered us to learn about humans. That includes their culture. <sighs> then I will study Earth humor. But why the road-crossing habits of poultry provoke involuntary laughter, I will never comprehend.
takes one to stop one. Grab that thing before it... Cody, that's the last time I'll let Dither star in my film. You're making a movie? Noble! Uh-huh, for our school multimedia assignment. What did you do? Cardboard diorama. <laughs> well, at least you're finished. I spent so much time on these special effects. I'm way behind. I can help you. Great. Your family's robots can be my new stars. Uh, better not. They're only supposed to be used for emergencies. This is an emergency. My movie's due in two days. I need to deliver something amazing. Shoot whatever footage you need. I have all morning. See these? Thanks, Cade. But first, I need some shots of your robot. Can you make it turn into a fire engine? Uh, sure. Hey, uh, listen up, bots. Frankie's in charge for now. Do whatever she tells you to do. So, where do you want me to stand? Why don't you take five? <laughs> take what? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, it gives me time to work on my celebrity impressions. You're gonna want to record this. <clears throat> Cinematic gold, baby. See these? Robots, change into vehicles. <laughs> I'll really do whatever I say? This is gonna be amazing! Not for the bots. And action! Rescue bots, dance! I do not understand the command. These are the highest tech robots on the planet. You're telling me they can't shake a little metal? My movie needs popping and locking! I believe I can assist with that. No offense, Dad, but my film's about new technology, and your moves strictly old school. Oh, I may be a microgram rusty, but don't worry. I'll pull out all my favorite records and practice. Props for you, Frankie. Uh, want to leave your camera, too? No, thanks. It's bad enough pretending to be robots, but being humiliated for posterity? We could be stars, Heat Wave. Do you know how many hits our dance video could get online? You want hits? Cade told me what happened. How much did Frankie get on film? Nothing too revealing. Mostly just the bots standing around. Oh, well, good. It's imperative you four remain as undercover as possible. Cameras make it difficult, but your true identity is to be protected at all costs. That is what she said. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Apologies, Chief. I was attempting to lighten the mood with Earth humor. Have I failed? Uh, maybe we'd better watch a few more classics. <laughs> Dad, 
Lake Street is splitting apart! We're five minutes away. That's why I never take the bus. I bet school's canceled today. Great! I can stay and get footage of the rescue bus in action! Dad, did you hear that? Lake Street's not the only thing we have to worry about. Understood, Cody. I'll make sure the team is on their most robotic behavior. I would like to attempt some Earth humor, sir. Ding dong. Uh, Chase, you don't use the doorbell. It's a knock-knock joke. Ah, yes. Then I am knocking. Who's there? A concerned citizen. A concerned citizen who? A concerned citizen who wishes to inform you that your car is in a no-parking zone. Ha 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 Okay, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna work on those punch lines, Chase. Excellent. Which lines will we be punching? There you go. Chief, I'm stuck! Don't worry, Jerry. We'll get you out once we move the bus. Boulder, you stay here and help Blades dislodge the bus. I have to make sure that crack didn't rupture any gas lines. Whoa! <clears throat> sure thing, Grip. As you command. know to save the driver. Nobody told him to. Uh, Cumlinks. My whole family uses them. Huh. Dad, based on the strata and shearing of this crack, I think it was caused by an earthquake. Uh, we don't have those in Maine, son. I know, but whatever damaged this street was definitely a subterranean force. Watch over her. Ah! Rescue bots, protect the pedestrians! Ah! 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 What's happening? Another earthquake. It's too dangerous to land. Please tell me there's no such thing as a sky quake. Wave. I need... Uh, Kay! Rescue robot, hand me a hose. It'd be a lot faster if you let me put the fire out. You're just a machine, remember? And you're a glory hog. Is it over? That aftershock is. But the cleanup's just beginning. The length and severity of that tremor... ...and that it happened at all... ...doesn't make any sense. Dad, what can we do? Take Frankie home and drop Cody off at the fire station. But, Dad... The bots can't get anything done with Frankie and her video camera around. Robots, let's clear this debris. Uh, you guys look like you could use a break. Wanna watch a movie? We all could use some laughs. Perhaps I may be of assistance. Two peanuts walked down the road. One had high sodium content. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, are you down there? I need to pick up my props. Quick, robot mode! Uh, you're not supposed to. It's a private place for the bots to recharge away from people. Cody, they're just machines. Besides, you're here. Well, yeah, but... And I thought I heard you speaking to them. Uh, they're good to talk to. I know they're just robots, but that makes them great listeners. Hopefully they're great actors, too. I just have one day left to finish my project, and... <gasps> Whoa! A secret passage! This is so going in my movie. 
Uh, do you actually have a script? Cause your film seems really random. Boulder, guess what I, uh. I'm going to have to ask you to head home now, Frankie. Our team has a mission and we'll need the bunker to ourselves to prepare. As I was saying, my suspicions about today's seismic event were correct. I analyzed the Tembler pulses. They came from the tunnels under Griffin Rock, not a fault plate. The regularity of the energy wave suggests that the tremors were man-made. Why would somebody want to cause an earthquake? It might not be intentional, but we still need to stop the source. Today, a gas main caught fire. Can you imagine if the rocket fuel reservoir spilled? I don't think anyone would survive long enough to imagine. <laughs> Chase, what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't the deployment of baked goods the height of physical comedy? <sighs> Not laughing. Where'd you find a pie, anyway? Chase, the most important thing about comedy is timing. And that was really bad timing. I will save my water squirting floral arrangement for later. My data shows this tunnel should lead us to the quake source. I'll be at the command center if you need me. Good luck. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Hello? Cody? Anybody? Make a right at that junction. Dead end? Graham. The Hall of Inspiration's logo. Right. I seem to remember some of the overflow technology from the hall is stored down here. Would that include an earthquake machine? Solar-powered flashlight. Useful. Can't imagine why this award winner isn't on display anymore. Found what we're looking for, though it's not what I expected. A speaker, a subwoofer. They must be picking up sound waves from somewhere. damage. you What matters now is bringing her back out. With the speaker above ground, we won't have to worry about any more quakes. But the tunnels may still be unstable. You three stay safe up here and see if you can find some answers about that speaker. Rescue bots, you're with me. <coughs> Who knew rock dust could be 
he's so <clears throat> dusty. Do you require anything? <laughs> uh, a midship Sunday, for starters. M a new telescope? <clears throat> My dad. Assistance has been deployed. Do you really think the rescue team can get me out of here? That is what we are programmed to do. <laughs> Cody was right. It does feel good to talk to you, even if you are just a robot. Fire response robot, do you copy? Affirmative. We're gonna try to locate you with sonic imaging. Hold on. <laughs> We're not getting a clear image. I'll try a stronger frequency. Cease sonic imaging immediately. Do you copy? secret but if we've learned anything by being on this planet a life is more important than our cover <laughs> easy Frankie it'll be okay Is playing a song. Well, where is it receiving all the music from? I'll track the source of the sound waves. Hello, Burns family. Isn't this jukebox astounding? I cannot comprehend why it's in the hall's best left forgotten area. I have a pretty good idea. The jukebox was transmitting wirelessly to an underground speaker, causing those earthquakes. My music was the source of the tremors? Oh, dear. I was merely practicing my shimmy. I didn't intend for the whole island to do the same. Frankie! Are you all right? What happened? Daddy. Just a little shake-up. Dr. McSwain said she'll be fine. Oh, my little Curie. I'm giving up dancing, forever. I think I'm giving up tunnels. Chase, have you seen Cody? He went to docks to get Frankie an hour ago. The docks? Why is Frankie at the ocean? <laughs> Congratulations, Chase. You just made your first joke. I did. What was it? How are you feeling, Frankie? Well, I've been stuck inside, but it gave me time to edit my movie. I want to show it to all of you before I turn it in. You won't believe some of the footage I grabbed.
Great that was job, so great. that's my girl. Frankie, I never knew you could sing. Everyone's allowed a secret or two. Thank you, Heat Wave. How much do you think she knows? I have no idea. Simply breathtaking. Such a spectacle brings a tear to this reporter's eye. Or could it be the smoke from that blazing warehouse full of pyrotechnics? Fortunately, the rescue vehicles have arrived. Those are fireworks. They're normally used for celebrations. Explosions as entertainment. I'll never understand you humans. All right, everyone. This is a fire, not the 4th of July. Back up, everyone. Let the rescue workers do their jobs. I'm afraid that includes you, Cody. Thank you, Cody. You're a lifesaver. Tell that to my dad. Cody, you know not to charge into an unstable building. Yeah, that's our job. Why didn't you just call us, bud? You were all busy, and I thought... I mean, I am part of the rescue team, right? A big part, Cody, but a collapsing warehouse? Do you know how much we worry about you? The fact is, son, you're too young to be risking your neck out there. So from now on, you'll be back in the command center for all future rescue operations. But, Dad, I... Not up for discussion. Oh, couldn't he just... From anyone. You know, if keeping Cody protected is the problem...
That should keep you safe. But I can't put my arms down. <sighs> we may have a mobility issue. Whoa! And a balance issue. 100% mobility, 100% protection. I feel like a hamster. Ah! Perhaps if we covered Cody in a suit made of airbags, not only would he be protected, he would conform to all motor vehicle safety standards. I think it's time to call Doc Green. I have just the thing. A hoverboard? I already have one of those. Not the board, Cody. The repulsor technology that keeps it aloft. I get it. A negatronic ion discharge buffer equal to mass times acceleration. Precisely. Can you translate for those of us who don't get an A in physics? Or even take physics? I'll do you one better, Cody. Bring everyone up to the lab tomorrow, and I'll show you. Blades. Peering into windows is socially unacceptable and illegal. So arrest me. I need to see what's going on in there. Doc Green is pinning something to Cody's shirt. It looks like a, a... A badge? Not just a badge, Cody. A repulsor. Turn it on. Cranky. Commence hazard simulation. <gasps> Cody is completely shielded. The repulsor badge senses any incoming threat and instantly projects an energy force field. You have anything to shield us from collateral tomato juice? A negatronic ion discharge buffer. Nice. Well, that should keep Cody safe, right, Dad? I'm afraid the hazards we face were a little more threatening than overripe produce. Cody, crank up the repulsor badge to full power. That's perfectly normal. Cranky? <laughs> huh? Heads up, Cody. Cody! Rescue bots, roll to the... Wait, look! God. Oh, thank Scared goodness. Us, Noble! It's like I'm invincible. You are, Cody. Now, go ahead and turn the dial down. You'll want to avoid raising the power into the red zone too often, or you could overload the badge. What do you say, Dad? Am I cleared to go back in the field? I suppose we can give it a try. But let's start small. I don't mind starting small, but changing a flat... This makes the mayor's speech seem exciting. And it is with great civic pride that I dedicate this statue honoring one of Griffin Rock's most distinguished citizens. Uh, me. <laughs> I told that sculptor to give me a comb over. All set, Edgar. Oh! <laughs> Rescue bot, stop those pipes! Cylinder of 
doom, a path of destruction, a mayor too out of shape to escape. Wow, did I really just do that? Why, young man, you're a hero. Not just a hero, a superhero. What? No, I'm just a boy on the rescue team. He calls himself Rescue Boy. And I'm here to bring you his first exclusive interview. Thank you, I think. Yeah, uh, thanks. So, what do you think? About what? Look, if I'm gonna be a superhero, I have to look the part, right? What's a superhero? According to these informational pamphlets, superheroes are masked vigilantes operating outside the law. Actually, they have cool powers they use to help people. So, we're superheroes? Superheroes usually have secret identities. They pretend to be ordinary so they can protect those close to them. Oh, so I guess that means... What do you know? We are superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> this book states that a true superhero uses his power wisely. And it looks like you need to start wearing your underwear on the outside. Let's not get crazy. I couldn't agree more. Cody, a word? Looks pretty legit, right, Dad? Listen, son. Using that repulsor badge to protect yourself is one thing. But I don't want you letting this rescue boy nonsense go to your head. Chief, Cody wouldn't do that. Would you? Badge on! <laughs> Rescue Boy is on the job! Huxley Prescott live on the scene in downtown Griffin Rock, where an automated garbage truck is on an explosive collision course with a gas station. But wait! What's this? It's Rescue Boy! So, if Rescue Boy is now the hero and we clean up after him, what does that make us? According to the reference material, we are sidekicks. Tell me, Rescue Boy, what was going through your mind during that dangerous rescue? I was wondering the exact same thing. What were you thinking? That tree might have fallen on you. The garbage truck nearly ran you over, and worst of all, you could have been trapped in an explosion. I didn't have anything to worry about, Dad. I was wearing my badge. Which is exactly why I'm taking it away. What? I don't understand. It's like a seatbelt, Cody. Wearing one doesn't mean you stop driving safely. This badge is no substitute for common sense. And until you learn that, you're back in the command center. Griffin Rock Emergency. No, Rescue Boy is not available. Stuck on a transmitter tower? I'll send the whole team. Have I ever mentioned that the wind is my mortal enemy? Kate, I have to back off. We can't get the basket close. I'll climb up and get him. Chase 
Boulder, brace that tower! A tangled toy, a teetering tower, a terrified tot, and a tough time for the rescue team. Oh, where is Rescue Boy when we really need him? Help me! Hang on tight, kid. I'm almost there. <laughs> Whew. Close call for Kate Burns. But now what? Look! Arriving not a moment too soon, it's Rescue Boy! Clearly, this is an unauthorized use of superpowers. Cody, what are you doing? Hold on tight, Billy! <sighs> Thanks, Rescue Boy. No problem. But next time, just buy a new kite. Rescue Boy? How about a quick word for your loyal fans? Uh, camp right now. This emergency's not quite over. Dad, you said I had to sit down until I learned some common sense. Well, when I saw... Ow! Uh, Dad, what's wrong with my badge? Must be overloaded. down to you. Vehicle modes, now! Ramp, get over to Doc Green's as fast as you can. On it. No! The repulsor badge thinks you're a threat! Back up, back up! You don't need to tell me twice! Yes! And just so you know, that repulsor badge is my new mortal enemy. Of him. Whoa, hothead. Throttle back. I can't just sit around doing nothing. We are doing something, waiting patiently for a solution. Until we find one, we stay back, and nobody steps out of their vehicle. Cody, how are you holding up? Uh, I'm okay, I guess. I just want to get rid of this thing. Don't worry. Graham went to see Doc Green. They'll figure something out. We figured something out. You'll notice how my hand can't penetrate the hoverboard's repulsor field. But on the other hand... I use a neutralizing glove. Which dampens the field. Perfect! We need gloves, Doc. Robot-sized. The badge is overheating! Help is on the way, son. Hang tight, little bro. We'll have that badge off in no time. I wish I'd never put it on. Us to move? 
What Cody's getting at is if we move slowly, the badge might not be able to detect us. everyone. Too much movement at once. Boulder and Graham, you're closest. Um, guys, can you go slow a little faster? Steady, steady, Boulder. Got it! The badge is about to blow! Get rid of it! I'm so sorry, everyone. Yeah, whatever. Are you all You're right? Not hurt, are you? Checked out. I'm fine, really. Just tired. Being a superhero really takes it out of a fella, huh? <sighs> superhero? That tech would be more at home on a super villain. Like I said, mortal enemy. You were right, Dad. That badge made me take dumb risks. I don't deserve to be in the field. You were wise enough to help solve the problem you started. Well, I think we can still find room for you on some of the rescue calls. Really? Just promise me Rescue Boy is retired from the force. <laughs> I already turned in my badge. Dad found it while he was gardening. Is this part of the lab? Maybe, but nobody's been here in years. That car is from the 1930s. We're trying to fix it up, but it's pretty bad. No seat belts. And you have to roll the windows down by hand. Uh, uh, could somebody please pass me a wrench? <gasps> Whoa! No way! Another secret passage. It seems the Griffin Rock scientists of the past had something to hide. The primary question is, what? A doorway? But it doesn't go anywhere. That's because it was designed to go any when. Huh? I believe we have uncovered a time machine. Noble. With four bats and stasis He's laid on a poke in the strangest of places Earth was their home now And in addition, Optimus Prime Gave them this mission Learn from the human, serve and protect Live in their world, earn their respect Family of heroes Will be your allies The others remain robots in disguise Rescue bots, go to the rescue Humans in need Our Heroes in need Rescue bots, go to the rescue Rescue The lab records show that the time machine was created in 1939 for the Griffin Rock Technology Expo. But the so-called temporal station was never utilized because the scientists of the era could not get it to work. I bet you can, Daddy. <laughs> it would prove an interesting challenge. And think of all the ways time travel could benefit mankind. Let me examine these calculations. If you could time travel, when would you go to, Frankie? The future. With warp speed technology, we can meet real aliens. Aliens? Never gonna happen. Hey, guys. Who's up for a double feature at the drive-in? No time, Cody. We have important hero work to do. <laughs> Since when is a photo op with preschoolers important? Since Haley is their teacher. Since Haley is their teacher. Uh, what about you, Boulder? Sorry, Cody. 
I'm helping Graham with his engineering homework. Hydraulic conductivity is fascinating. Hey, Blades, are you? Yeah! Cody, can we call you back? If you would like to review outdated municipal codes with me, I am available. Uh, no thanks, Chase. I kind of had my heart set on a movie. Remember when my family didn't want to spend time with bots? Emergency dispatch. Go ahead. Cody, I need the entire rescue team right away. Something the matter, Doc? No, something's the anti-matter. I believe I have repaired the time machine. A time machine? You didn't find this on the best left forgotten shelf, did you, Doc? You sure this thing will hold up? The tech is ancient. But the science is still sound. All the temporal station lacked was an energy source powerful enough to activate it. The scientists in the 30s simply couldn't turn the machine on. But with nuclear energy, we can. At least long enough to send a test subject through. Who's the guinea pig? Dither! Doc, you sure that's a good idea? Uh, what if your helper bot does something in the past to alter history? I've programmed Dither not to interact with anyone he meets. Besides, the temporal station's controls are set to August 17th, 1939, the date the scientists stopped working on it. So no one should be around to see Dither appear. Precisely. Dither can zip in, gather data, and use his own nuclear power source to return home. It all sounds pretty safe. Why Doc want the rescue team here? Something bad from the past could come back with Dither. Uh, Firebot. Vehicle mode. Cody, Frankie, climb inside. Bot mode, please. The rest of you, be ready. Is everyone prepared to face the past? Powering up. Dither, into the portal. Doc, turn that thing back on. I can't. The explosion destroyed the controls. Where are Cody and Frankie? What happened to our bots? Well, I'm sure everyone safely arrived in 1939. Well, fairly sure. I don't understand. The time portal appeared to experience some kind of energy shockwave. Hmm. Perhaps the robot's power source created interference. What exactly do your machines run on, Chief? I don't know. Uh, the kids, will they be all right, Doc? I believe so. I I'm certain Dither will turn on the temporal station in the past and bring them back very soon. Hmm. Fairly certain. Uh, uh, what was that? Where did my family go? And why is he here? Unbelievable. <gasps> Dr. Morocco? It works. It works. Welcome, travelers from the future. I am Dr. Thaddeus Morocco. He doesn't recognize the bots. Why would he? We're in the past, remember? 1939. But Morocco looks the same now as he does in our time. Awaiting orders. Can you communicate? What era are you visiting from? Don't answer that. I wasn't going to. No, I meant... I mean... You are unlike the others. Are you their leader? <laughs> He's following orders to avoid interaction. But Dither's our only way home, and we can't let him wander around in the past. Fire response robot. Vehicle mode, let us out. What? 
children. How did you get here? What is this technology? Tell me. Thaddeus, you know this area is sealed off. You shouldn't be... What on Earth? The time machine. It is now fully operational, thanks to yours truly. He's lying. He didn't make it work. We brought ourselves here. Poor child. Dazed from his temporal journey. Dr. Hendrickson, you have to believe us. You know me. You were Griffin Rock's first female scientist. You're one of my heroes. And we know that Dr. Morocco is... These youngsters need rest and isolation. But they're just children. Who knows what horrible germs they may have brought from the future. And Dr. Dodgson... Robot, stop! Maintain objective. Do as told. Understood? Robot? Understood. Fascinating. I'll personally take point in studying these mechanical men. We have to get back to Griffin Rock. I mean, our Griffin Rock. Daddy just fixed this for me. A watch hologram projector. Hey, Dr. Babysitter! That won't fool him for long. Dither's tracking device is linked to my watch, so it should be easy to get a fix on him. Come on! Hmm, that's funny. The screen says there's no satellite feed. We better stop in a cyber cafe and run it through a remote IP. Um, Frankie, I don't think there are any satellites here. And I know there's no cyber cafe. But where's the Froyo shop? And the Pilates studio? You're blocking the sidewalk, and your clothes are funny. <laughs> Mrs. Nederlander? I'll adjust my watch to pick up Dither's internal frequency. I know 1939 has radio signals. Uh, let's stick to the side streets. I am concerned to hear of these events, Chief Burns. Energon is our lifeblood and fuel. It is entirely possible it may have interacted with the Time Machine's technology, providing the power for the rescue bot's unexpected trip to the past. So if the Energon can power up the machine, the bot should be able to bring everyone back to the present. Perhaps. But the fact that they have not yet done so may indicate they have encountered difficulties. Again, robot. Again. Again. If I can learn how this technology of the future works, the War Department would pay me hundreds. And with an army of these robots, I could rule the world. Yeah. Chamber of Youth. Fifty years old and still running. Best technology I ever stole. Forced to break the speed limit, not once, but dozens of times. I am ashamed to call myself a police bot. Why do Earth females so enjoy yelling at me? Humans in the past seem a lot meaner. 
Should we make a break for it? Cody told us to maintain cover, so that's what we'll do. Your data tells me nothing. I am aware these machines have speed and strength. I want to know why. We need more invasive testing. Time to pull these behemoths apart. Warning, we are programmed for defense when threatened. And we, my metal friends, are equipped with giant electromagnets. I will not require any more assistance today. Daddy's not the only one who knows the password. We need a distraction. What is that? This had better be important. Uh, someone from Science Magazine to see you, sir. You've been voted Scientist of the Year. Finally. Stay here and keep watch. I'll free the bots. Cody! We knew you'd come back for us. The switch on the wall. It controls an electromagnet. But Morocco has the key. You'll have to find a way to override the... You do talk! All of you! I didn't say anything. Oops. <sighs> Smooth. It's okay, it's okay. It's time she knew. Cody, I always knew. You did? Well, almost always. You can't fool me, Cody. Especially about giant alien talking robots. I am distraught. I thought our charade had been successful. We'll worry about that later. Right now, we have to... Morocco! Dither, find the circuit breaker. Shut down the power for that electromagnet. So glad to see you again. I should have come to you for answers in the first place. Now... Tell me how these robots work. We don't know nothing, Mr. Doctor. We're just little kids. Oh, if that's how you'd like to play this game. Dither, hurry! Leave them alone! Oh, what? Bumblebee and Optimus live here in 1939? Chief Burns informed us of your time travel dilemma. We suspected you might need some assistance. You suspected correctly, sir. Odd. That sounds like me. Rescue bots, roll to the future. <gasps> uh. 
So, Heat Wave, that time you saved me down in the tunnel during the earthquake, you really were talking to me, weren't you? I thought you'd passed out. Do you boss have to do everything Cody tells you to? Absolutely not. Once in a I while. take orders only from Chief We Burns. have a choice? Don't go any farther. Dr. Hendrickson, I know you're a nice person. You wouldn't let any harm come to us. But Dr. Morocco, he's not a good man. Now or ever. Hmm. Seems some things are timeless. I'll keep the others away as long as I can. Thank you. Someday, you'll invent things that help a lot of people. I will? All right, I will. Good luck. They went that way. We must have lost him. We can't get back without him. He's the only way to power up the time machine. Not the only way. Our inner John. It's what caused us to be drawn into the machine in the first place, isn't it? Dr. Morocco, we found this under a table in the lab. Hmm. Let's see what makes you tick. Everybody. I assumed we would be returning only a short time after our departure. Maybe they're outside. Dad, we're home! Frankie, I don't think we are home. What are they doing here? Unauthorized visitors to Morophilus. Identify yourselves. Moropolis? Previously on Transformers Rescue Bots. I believe we have uncovered a time machine. Sending alien robots and two children decades into the past? What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure everyone safely arrived in 1939. Why is he here? Dr. Morocco? Warning, we are programmed for defense when threatened. And we are equipped with giant electromagnets. <laughs> You'll have to find a way to override the- <gasps> You do talk, all of you! I didn't say anything. Time to pull these behemoths apart. Leave them alone! Oh, what? We have to get back to Griffin Rock. Our Griffin Rock. Dad, we're home! I don't think we are home. Unauthorized visitors to Moropolis, identify yourselves. Moropolis? A blue team patrol with four bats and stasis. He's like a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Who are the robots in disguise? Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Humans in need, heroes in need. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Rescue bots. Uh-huh.
Not Decepticons, more bots. Dr. Morocco's version of us. What did Morocco do to Griffin Rock? Whatever it was, we have to undo it. Bumblebee and I will fend off these more bots. The rest of you seek answers. Two against five. Maybe I should. Heatwave, lead your team. We'll find you. Halt or be immobilized. They seem to be moving on. I'm glad the stage was still here. Everything else is so different. I wonder... Dad, come in. Cade, Graham, Danny, are you there? Anybody? My dad's phone number doesn't even exist. What happened to our families? The Griffin Rock we knew is history. So? It'll be documented. At the Hall of Inspiration. Clear. Looks like the hall doesn't see many visitors. Where's the holographic host? President Arthur, are you... Ah! Bot! <laughs> Do you mind? Why are you all here? There's no mandatory tour scheduled. We're new to Griffith. I mean, Meropolis. And I wanted to know about the town's early years. <clears throat> well... In 1649, the first settlers arrived. Many brilliant inventions. Who says one must sacrifice youth for wisdom? <laughs> Moropolis security breach. Outsiders detected. <sighs> Could it be? Two children, six robots. The meddlesome time travelers have returned. Capture those robots. Whatever powers them apparently powers my time machine. Once I extract their energy source, the reign of Morocco will stretch across the centuries. As for the children, make certain no one ever sees them again. Many more brilliant inventions follow. Can we and jump ahead to 1939? <sighs> 1939. World-renowned innovator Dr. Thaddeus Morocco made his indelible imprint on this island by inventing the Moore Bot. Dither? Credited with commencing an era of technological prosperity, Moore Bot version 1.1 literally put Moropolis on the map. That's what went wrong. We left Dither behind. And Dr. Morocco pilfered his technology. So Doc Moroc built an empire from one household service bot? And we made it possible. It is often said, all that is necessary for evil to triumph is for rescue bots to trample the time-space continuum. I, I paraphrase, of course. Ahem. Perhaps someone else would care to present our history? No, because your history's wrong. Guys, we have to go back to 1939, rescue Dither, and restore Griffin Rock. Someone's coming. Oh, more unscheduled visitors. That does it. This docent is off duty. <laughs> Dad! Am I glad to see you? 
Young man, I think you're mistaken. What? It's me, Dad. Cody. I don't have a son named Cody. And what's the idea of bringing robots in here? Do you know what their metal feet do to my floors? You really don't know who I am? Maybe I do. Citizen alert. The outsiders are in the Hall of Inspiration. <laughs> Immobilize! Stay behind us. Immobilize? They're just children. All right, sir. What kind of robots are you? The good kind. I'm sorry about turning you in. We were told your machines were dangerous. I assumed you'd be detained, not attacked. Citizen alert. The outsiders have fled west on Lake Street. Thanks. We need to get back up the hill to the time machine. I don't know anything about a time machine, but... You won't get far as long as the Morbots are hunting you. I know a place you can hide until things quiet down. Attention! Moropolis is in lockdown. Submit to all searches. Harboring outsiders is a crime. Clear the streets. You wrecked my taxi! Ugh. Why didn't I listen to Mother and pursue broadcast journalism? Businesses are to remain closed. Right away! Please don't smash my tables again! Chief Burns. Oh. Allowing me to take the wheel would free you up to monitor the streets. Your vehicle's very intuitive and polite. Thank you, sir. You and I do make a good team. Team? Why aren't we just taking the tunnels to the firehouse? Morocco's been sealing them up, afraid of a rebellion. Wants us all above ground where he can keep an eye on us. How do you know I live in a firehouse? I know a lot about you, and Cade, and Graham, and Danny. A family of heroes, as you are affectionately known. Heroes? <laughs> I don't think so. Burns Auto Repair? You're a mechanic, too? Uh, kids are. Hanging around machines all day is not my thing. No offense. None taken. I'm worried about Optimus and Bumblebee. Don't be. They're used to working behind enemy lines. Charles Burns. I've long suspected he and his family were part of the rebellion. And they could succeed if they used those robots against me. Or those. <laughs> Uh, seriously? <laughs> Alien Autobots and alternate histories? A third brother? I have enough of those already, thanks. I believe them. It explains a lot, like why Morocco's combing the island for them so aggressively. Dad, you have to know how dangerous this is, right? Yeah, drawing this kind of attention, harboring outsiders... Especially considering what we've been working on. Look, we'll be out of your garage as soon as the street's clear and we can move across town. In the meantime, I imagine a couple of time-traveling kids could use a little food and rest.
time this giant lobster balloon dragged Daddy into the sky. Cade rescued him using Heatwave's ladder. <laughs> I did? Well, not that I'm surprised or believe any of this. Then Doc Green made this floatium gas, and real flying lobsters swarmed the town. They went after the mayor, and Graham and Boulder saved him. Whoa, who'd have thought? Danny and Blades were scooping flobsters out of the air. Me and a helicopter? I don't even like flying. Hmm. I don't believe there's a Doc Green on this island. I wish there was. Place would be a lot more fun. Don't worry, Frankie. Your dad probably just lives somewhere else. I'm sure you'll see him again. Proceed. A, a shot, shot across, across your, your proverbial bow. Downstairs, hurry! Mr. Burns, I'll make this simple. Hand over the robots or there will be dire consequences. You have 30 seconds. We can hide in the bunker. No, Morocco knows about it. We'd just be trapped. How did you know about it? I told you, I grew up here. They've walled us in. Our apologies, Chief. It was not our intent to involve you. We don't want you to get hurt, so we'll turn ourselves in. You We can't. won't let you. Morocco can't be trusted. He'll take you and then he'll come after us anyway. Now, this is exactly why bringing outsiders in here was a mistake. Was it? We talk about standing up to that tyrant Morocco, but we never do. Maybe a little push is just the thing we need to bring heroes back to this town. Dad's right. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. Meet the mobile headquarters, everyone. Big enough to hold a band of rebels. Or four rescue bots. No, Oh, bring the house down. But the robot's power source had better be salvageable. Brace for impact. Dispatch every robot on the island. I'm not used to being a passenger. It's kind of relaxing. Hang on! Split up. Agreed. Six targets are statistically more challenging to hit. Make that seven. We'll use the MHQ as a decoy. Here comes Morocco! Rescue bots, roll out! Yeah, I like the sound of that. They're separating. Go after them. All of them! Please 
please consider this an example of how not to operate a motor vehicle. Giant propellers! I am gonna be sick! Copter, stop! Please! It's blades. And don't worry, a very good pilot showed me how to do this. Sorry to leave you with such a mess. Once you go through that time machine and fix the past, everything here will change too. It's changed already. And if I had to have another brother, I wouldn't mind it being you. Take the MHQ. I have a feeling it might come in handy someday. Treat her with care, buddy. Okay? We will. See you all soon, I hope. Let's go, team. Don't let them escape. Go, go, go! Stop, stop, stop! Well, you're no transforming robot, but you'll do quite nicely. Property reacquired. But where? How did you? Ready? been so worried. You won't believe what we had to do to get back here. <laughs> Welcome home, Squirt. Can't wait to hear all about it. Time traveling. I'm pretty jealous. I miss you more than you'll ever know, Daddy. Trust me, my little Einstein. I know. Thank you for bringing our kids home safely. Mission accomplished. Why are you still talking like that? Everybody knows you're... Oh, oops. Do you mean there's more to these rescue bots than meets the eye? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Chief filled me in. With your lives at stake, keeping secrets any longer just didn't seem necessary. Optimus, Bumblebee, we're forever in your debt. Bumblebee is correct. We simply assisted the rescue bots. Thanks to you, they have become an outstanding team. One it has been an honor to serve with. Us too. Okay, so what was Dr. the Dr. 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 One thing's for sure, we're smashing that time machine. A rig this size could come in handy. Who built her? A family of heroes. Mm -hmm. 